Hello, my name is Sam from the Hormu Development Team and today I'm going to be showing you our new four and six wheel coaches that we designed to replace our old four and six wheel coaches to run with our range of terriers. We'll be going through the design process and let you know some secrets about why we did what we did. I designed and developed the four and six wheel coaches, uh, all the way from looking at the pictures and the drawings in the old books to the finished products that you see on your shelves. Uh, so that was a lot of work on CAD on the computer and then working with our vendors over in China to make sure that all the products that we design are exactly how we want them to be. So that when you get them on the layouts, they run as well as they can. Four and six wheel coaches were one of the first projects I did when I started at Hornby. So for me, the most exciting part was learning the process. That included looking at the products that came before, uh, especially our old one, and our new coaches to see what could be improved, where the extra detail could be added, and then work through the process, uh, especially with the electronics, with the Maglite that we introduced, um, and then going through the, the development process. Do they run on our track? Uh, how many can we run in one go? Do all the the electric boxes, the gas light versions and the oil lamps, do they look good? So a lot of it for me was learning how to do the job. It was quite a nice project to start with, especially because they're generic. I was able to have a little bit more freedom uh, because all the different railway companies had different versions of this coach. Uh, so with the generic, we can sort of paint a broader picture of what it was back then. For me, my favorite part of the process was getting the first samples. Uh, so as you're going through the design, you see it on the screen, and then once, they are, once the samples arrive, you get to feel them, test them, uh, and play with them, uh, just to make sure that everything's there, all the details are there. It's very much a collaborative process from our design here in the UK to our vendors in China who, who manufacture it, to go back and forth to make sure everything is working, to make sure the axles run smoothly, the wheels are round, and then when I get to see them, that's the most exciting part because it takes quite a long time to get from the start to the finish. And then once I see the first samples, they then go through its small iterations and changes before they become the products on the shelves that you see. So during the design process, there are a couple of challenges that we face. The first one was with the wheel sets. On the four wheel coach, they've got pinpoint axles and they run nice and smoothly, a lot like many of the brake vans or other small wagons that we've made. With the six wheel coach, these are a little bit different. Because of the long wheelbase and the center wheel, there needs to be quite a lot of side float to get round our tight corners. Uh, so a lot of work went into making sure that the brakes are the right amount of distance away from the wheel flanges. And so these wheels can move as much as they can to allow coaches to snake around our curves. Uh, the second big challenge we faced was the electronics. Traditionally, we used fixed PCBs with a big capacitor on the end and pickups on the wheels. But because these coaches are so small, if we were to stick one of these in the roof, you'll be able to see the capacitor through the windows. So that's when we developed the, the Maglite system with a flexibility strip and tape on the back to retrofit into our coaches with a reed switch on a PCB and a battery that will sit underneath the seat unit. Now this is all controlled with our Hornby magnets. So when you wave the magnet over the roof, the lights will turn on. It's got a couple of advantages because we don't need pickups. There's a lot less drag on the coaches. So going around corners, the Terrier, which is quite a small local, will be able to pull more coaches in a rake. And the third big challenge we faced was COVID. So the manufacturing for this was delayed just a, just a bit by the lockdown in China to begin with. Uh, and then once we had samples coming in, we were still all working from home. So toing and froing between our test track and my bedroom at home, had loads of different samples over the beds. There was drawers full of coaches. But we made it work. Uh, now the products you see were tested and checked all in my bedroom. The design process all in all took around nine months. The design itself only took about a month and that included the design, the design reviews to make sure that I've got all the details. We do that with the researcher and our head of design and our artwork man. Uh, and then after that, we got 3D prints made. So we tested them around our test track. And when we were happy with those, we then pressed the button to China to say, go ahead and make. Uh, and because of COVID, the process it took a little while to start, but once it got going, we got all our samples. The first time, only, only small modifications had to be made. So from then, 
the process was quite quick. So once we received the engineering samples, we then started getting decorated samples. So the decoration samples and the final engineering samples came sort of in line. Um, so they were all being shipped to the UK around November time, stocked in, in the warehouse in December, ready for our release in January. My favorite part of the coach is probably the lighting. For one, they look really good when the interiors are lit. And two, it's a new concept for Hornby to be developing. And that's quite nice to be involved with the design development of something new that we will then bring into our other products. Uh, our retrofitable kit can be put in any coaches, which means people don't necessarily need to have a, a pickups on their track. It, it also allows some flexibility on a layout. For example, if you put a magnet underneath the bridge and your coaches go underneath the bridge, then you can transition from day to night, which is quite cool. It means you don't need to have a decoder to control your lighting uh, because you can do it all with a magnet. So one of my other favorite parts about them is the decoration. The LNER teak version is stunning. And being from the Southeast, I really like the Southern with the green and the yellow. Uh, our painter and decorator did a really good job of getting all those right. And our suppliers in China did a, did a fantastic job of making sure all the small details were represented perfectly. So during this design process, I learned a lot about designing coaches because it was one of my first projects I, I did. And the first that I had done all the way from from the chassis to the body to the windows, I spent a lot of time looking at the old, the other old products, how they are made, and getting an appreciation for why things are done as they're done, but also developing and iterating on these, which is quite nice as a designer. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at our four and six wheel coaches, let us know in the comments. And if you want to see any more from the development team, also let us know because we'd love to show you what we've been working on.